What is going on guys? Ed from Kansas City. So we really got some serious, some real serious hail and rain. As you can see, I am being bombarded by hail. Oh my goodness. You can hear it on the car. Sound like the car is getting shot up by you know some machine guns or something a lot of cars are pulled over uh some are utilizing the bridges but i don't know if you guys can see anything but a lot of the vehicles have pulled over uh <clears throat> it is crazy so yeah all these cars you see mostly are pulled over it's really crazy kid you not I would have pulled over, but I'm like, nah, since it's pulling over. So a lot of cars pulled over there. As you can see, a few are still like me trying to make it to their destination. But yeah, that's a lot of, uh, oh, I got a lot in my trunk. I was in my, at the store, at our store in, uh, in Belden, and I was uh, loading some stuff. And I just noticed that from the roof to the top of the car to down the back of the car, it was just being loaded with water, like flooding into the back of my car. I'm like, oh my goodness, crazy. So, uh, yeah, this is crazy, man. I mean, real crazy. I've never actually, I've driven in, you know, I've driven in a lot of zero visibility, you know? Uh, something on here, the heat on. I've driven in zero, uh, this, you know, zero visibility, you know. Well, this is not exactly zero, but you can, you can basically tell, you can hardly see in the front. And it's calmed down a little bit now, uh, since I've started recording. But at first, it was like literally real bad. So it's much, much better now. It's much calmer now. Uh, so, yeah, it was really much, much worse. So it's a lot calmer now. Uh, visibility is much better, better now. But the hail that was coming down on the car was crazy. A car up ahead that is, uh, has its hazard lights on. Yeah, I'm like, man, that was real bad. That was crazy. I think I'm going to definitely have some hail damage. I'm going to look at that and see what's going on with it when uh, probably tomorrow I'm not gonna do it today because that was I was expecting uh, I was uh, hoping that my windshield didn't crack by all the ice that was hitting it uh, and Jesus it didn't but I was thinking that you know that was a strong enough you know contact to you know break something if a person had a, some glass that was already cracked that would have made it uh, even less uh, less needed pressure a few cars you see under the bridge there so yeah it is uh, it's real about a lot of cars pulled over there on the on the ramp there so I don't know. I don't know the difference. You know, I guess you're supposed to, you should pull over. It's wise to pull over. But the thing about it is, is you, if you, when you pull over, you you risk those who do not pull over. Uh, those who, like myself, want to drive through this. And the visibility was very poor, extremely poor. And what about those who decide to just keep going through and, uh, you know, don't see you until the last don't see your car parked until the last two minutes or what if they lose control or something so i know you can go either way but i trust in god i trust in Jesus. it's okay you know i'll make it it's not the best conditions at any in any sense of the term to be driving in but i've never driven in hell like that before i just wanted to state that 
that I've driven in some real extremely bad rain. I mean, I've, I've, I've actually driven in some rain that did make me pull over. That you just couldn't, your wipers would not do any justice in trying to uh, combat and, and wipe, wipe away the rain. So, uh, but with hail like that, I've never driven in hail to that magnitude. And it was pretty, pretty down point. So, I'm off the highway now, and uh, I'm gonna get on, get on to the house. All right, guys. Yep.